In the village of Jalel, family and friends are in mourning. Mabrouk Moafer's daughter, Sara, was killed in Monday's attack. She was 15 years old. She told me, I will send you and mother to Mecca. I will become a doctor so I can afford it. But now she died and she's a martyr and God willing, we will be in heaven, thanks to her. As we prepare to leave, there's gunfire in the distance. It gets closer. We take cover inside. Villagers were here to pay their respects. Now they fear more people will be killed if the gunmen return. Well, we've been told to take cover and stay inside. The army says it's searching for two armed fighters roaming this neighborhood at the moment. Clearly, this operation isn't over yet. People here blame ISIL for the insecurity. They're also angry at the Tunisian government for closing the border with Libya. They have told us we can no longer smuggle and they won't develop the area. So what? Do you want us to die? The priority for Tunisia's army is to find the attackers, searching every home, on the ground, with help from the air. Army commanders suspect some local people may be helping or hiding them. Dozens of young men from Ben Garden have travelled to Libya for military training and to join groups such as ISIL. The challenge for the government and police now is to track men returning to Tunisia. 36 fighters have been killed and seven more have been arrested. We have some information of some Tunisian elements involved, but there are also foreigners responsible for this attack. We have gathered important information from the terrorists. Villagers in Jalel are living in fear. Until now, fighting in Libya was something they watched on TV news. They never expected the fighting to surround their homes. They feel helpless as they wait for the next attack. Nazani Mashiri, Al Jazeera, Jalel, Southern Tunisia.